Hello and welcome to the 47th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at class access. Basically there are three keywords that can be used to specify the access scope of variables and methods of a class and these are public, private and protected. Public members are accessible from anywhere where the object is visible so inside and outside. Private members of a class are accessible only from within other members of the same class or from their friends, basically friends is something that we'll cover later on in, in the series and protected members finally are accessible from other members of the same class, very similar to private uh, or from the friends as well, but also from members from their derived classes. Derived classes is something that we're also going to be covering later on in the series, so for the purpose of this tutorial we'll just be covering public and private. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open up our project. Just a quick thank you, we almost have 1500 subscribers, I want to thank everyone that's watched us, everyone that's subscribed and just thank you to the community. So let's just go ahead with this tutorial now. So you create a class as you normally would and you type in the name of your class, I'm going to call it vehicle. Curly braces with a semicolon at the end and then we're just going to put public. We're going to do int speed float age private int acceleration and now what we're going to do is just create a public function called print function and we'll, and we'll leave it at that now if we just create an object of this function Actually, before we create an object, it's going to implement the function itself. And so with the void vehicle print function, and in here, I'm going to do stdc out. And for the c out, we are going to do acceleration std n9. And we'll just set acceleration as well. So acceleration equals 9. 9900, that's fine. I accidentally clicked on the 9 twice, but it's A OK. So we just declare our objects and say BMW and Toyota. We do BMW.speed equals 900. Toyota.speed equals 89. What we're going to do is STDC out Toyota.speed. STD. I could have done this with one object really, but uh, T now. And now if we just run this, it prints out 89. But if we were to try and change speed to acceleration, as you can see in Xcode, uh, there's a red line through it. And this basically means that you can't access it because it's outside of the scope, aka it's private, which can only be accessed within the class itself. So if we try to run this, see the error we get. Acceleration is a private member of v aka we can't access it. But obviously we've got another way of printing it out and also setting it at the same time, which is Toyota.print function. Now if we run that, we get 9900. So that's just, this is just a quick overview of the scope of variables and methods. So you just use the keyword public, private, or protected. And then below that, you just put in your variables and methods, and they will be within that scope. So that's it for this part. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at class constructors. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.